Hello, my name is Rita Leitze, and in this workshop, I'm going to be presenting our work on Reform, a robot learning sandbox for the formable linear object manipulation. The motivation for this work came from observing similar software libraries such as RL Bench, Concept to, to Robot, and Assisted Gym, which aim to enable reinforcement learning or robot learning tasks in simulation to avoid the costly gathering of data in experiments. However, we noted that in these environments, there was very limited inclusion of the formable object manipulation tasks. Here, we're actually putting all that we could find at the time, meaning the, the rope environment in RL Bench, the folding concept in Concept to Robot, and then dressing someone in assistive gym. More recently, uh, there has been new work done on this, but for example, Soft Gym has released a benchmark on soft objects like cloth, rope, and even liquids. And Plastic in Lab has provided even more recently a library on plasticine manipulation tasks. In our work, we focus on the formable linear objects, such as ropes and cables, because we observe that this has been consistently studied and is still an open research topic. As we can see uh, on this conference, we have still a lot of active work done on DLOs alone. So Reformed is structured as the interface to the actual backend simulator, which is AGX Dynamics, a set of environments that I'm going to be presenting soon, and a set of classes which we found are facilitators for changing the reinforcement learning problem and testing new tasks. If you want to see the full presentation, I encourage you to visit us tomorrow at 10.15 at ICRA. We identify the fact that sometimes the deformation is just something we want to avoid. Like when you pick up a bottle, we want to avoid spilling over by pressing too much. Sometimes it also can be negligible and we can just consider it as a source of noise in our manipulation task. However, there are many manipulation tasks where the deformation is the actual goal and we could categorize them into two main classes. Explicit shape control, where the goal is to deform the object into a specific shape, such as bending a wire into a paper clip. And implicit shape control, where the goal is to manipulate the object into a configuration where we don't care exactly how it looks, but it has to satisfy some more abstract concept like tying a rope into a knot. For this, we proposed six environments. One where we want to insert a soft bag into a hole, cable closing where we wrap a cable around the cylinder, a similar pr principle but with a rubber band, and these are our implicit shape controls tasks. We don't care exactly how it looks, we just want that task to be completed. And then we have the explicit shape control tasks like bending a wire, doing the same with an obstacle, and then manipulating a rope on a surface. Reform has these three classes. Um, one of them is the end effector class, which just defines how we control the object. It can be with one or two grippers. Um, the compliance of the grasp can also be controlled. And there's an automatic scaling so that the reinforcement learning agent can always learn between minus one and one, but then there's scaling for velocity and accelerations that make sense for the simulation. There are several observation types. Um, notably, there is RGB and depth vision data. And then there's also the reward definition class, which we find useful, especially when there is no clear way to define the goal in a way that it works well with reinforcement learning. And to know a little bit more about this, there's also going to be a presentation tomorrow at 1.45, uh, where we go into how elastoplasticity makes the problem of shape um, control harder. In summary, to use Reform, uh, you need to, of course, have a Python environment, and it depends on Jim. Um, it depends on the simulation software, HX Dynamics. And you can modify very easily the current environments by modifying the state representation, the control strategy, and for the explicit shape control problems, even the reward function. That's all for me. Thank you.